divestitures come in many forms let see few of them sales it is the most basic type of divestiture it includes sale of a division a business unit a segment or a set of assets to another firm the buyer generally pays in cash there are few reasons behind the sales of assets it works as a defense against the hostile takeovers because the sale of assets improves target firm's value and the firm becomes expensive for the acquirer also the sale of assets corrects poor liquidity of the firm third lack of data about individual units put large diversified firms harder to value selling unprofitable divisions are likely to have low value and similarly low traction for the acquirer academic research concludes on sale of assets in the way that sell offs create value to the sellers and acquisitions are often sold off in future spin off the another way of divestiture in this case the parent company turns a unit into a separate entity and gives its shares among its own stockholders spin offs different uh, differ from sales in two aspects the first is that the parents shareholders get shares only second difference is that initially the initial owners in spun off are same as the parents owners but this ownership may differ or it may change in the days to come if we see the reasons behind spin off we can see it increases the corporate focuses it enables a firm for disclosure of additional information to public to value parent and subsidiary after the spin off transaction there is a positive relationship between managerial efforts and the subsidiary's stock prices better tax consequences from spin off are there as parent receives no cash similarly there is no tax implication third form of divestiture is the car vote plans where car uh, the parent company turns a unit into a separate entity and often and offer its lesser amount of shares to the general public and the parent company retains larger amount of share holding with herself car vote deal is similar to a spin off in the with the difference that the parent receives cash in car out plan but it is not uh, the case in the form of a spin off large profitable firms more likely to use car out plans as it involves the cash whereas small unprofitable firms more likely to use spin off due to the difficulty of issuing stock but there is a dark side to cash under free cash flow hypothesis because the existence of extra cash in profitable capital budgeting projects may induce managers to go for unprofitable spendings but stock market reacts positively to carve out announcements in the situation where the cash is used for debt reduction and new investment projects tracking st stocks another form of divestiture in this case the parents issue a parent company issues tracking stock, uh, stock to track the performance of any of its specific division for example a uh, size of dividend on a tracking stock determines a division's performance this means that if a division a uh, pays a higher amount of dividend on its stock this means that division has earned a good amount of profit which shows better prof, uh, operating efficiency done by that particular division trackers trade separately from the parent's stock but the division uh, stays with the uh, parent company whereas the spin off separate subsidiary from the 
parents company there is a major problem with the trackers stock uh, and that problem is the lack of lack of clearly defined property rights on the stocks issued as a tracking stock if we observe some behavioral approaches of accountants in this case to see that the optimistic accountant can raise the earnings of a particular dividend thereby leading that dividend to a larger dividend and so far as the pessimistic accountant is concerned it such a content will have the reverse effect this means that accountants may affect the firm's earnings but there is no direct impact on the dividend 